Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you something that's kind of exciting. It's uh, totally different. It's totally out there. It's how to um, use an RPG-8 arpeggiator to apply it to your Octorex loops. So um, it's highly experimental. It creates a lot of very, very, very glitchy sounds. Um, and um, so let me just show you how it's done. Um, let's go start by creating a combinator. I'm going to use my empty combinator template that creates an empty template here and it adds in a 6-2 mixer and then under the 6-2 mixer I'm going to create an Octorex loop player I'm going to go in and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to use this loop okay it's one of my loops that I created um, you can see it here and I'm going to disable the loop playback okay very important and then underneath here I'm going to create underneath the combinator itself I'm going to create an RPG 8 okay and the reason I'm doing it this way is because if you flip it around you'll notice that it connects up to the combinator thereby it's playing anything that's inside the combinator and it's also going to be affecting your loop playback the reason we do it this way is because you don't have any CV connections for the gate in or the CV in on the OctoRex, so you have to kind of do it this way. Once you've created it though, you can bring it into the combinator and you can save it as part of your patch. So with that said and done, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, select copy loop to track, we're going to go into our sequencer and we're going to take, um, I'm only going to take half of this, actually just take a little bit of it. And I'm just going to take these four clips and I'm going to join the clips. Okay, now let's open up the tool window. And with the tool window open, what we're going to do is we're going to alter the notes by about 100. And we're going to click that a couple times to get a totally random feel in your notes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, half the tempo. I'm going to click side by side and overlap it by um, two and then I'm going to randomize it um, because the range of notes that are playing inside this specific um, loop are from C1 to C sharp 3 I'm going to constrain the notes to that area and if you look inside the notes you'll see that it's constrained to that area um, let's close up the tool window let's go back to song mode and let's take this clip and let's put it on our combinator and when you open it up you'll see that it's constrained from C1 up to C3 sharp. Okay, it doesn't go beyond above or below that, and that's what we want. So with that done, I'm going to loop it to this area. I'm going to go back into my rack, and I am going to do a few things. I'm going to turn off the loop playback. I'm going to let you listen to what it sounds like uh, with just the Octorex playing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the ARP in the uh, programmer section, and I'm going to uncheck the received notes so that you can listen to it just playing through the um, the Octorex. The RPG-8 isn't affecting the Octorex at all right now. So let's just play it. So that's what it sounds like. Now um, what I'm going to do on the ARP, on the arpeggiator, I'm going to take the gate length and push it all the way up to 127. I'm going to select free range mode for the rate. And what else am I going to do? I'm going to click the pattern section, turn that on, um, and sure, let's click shuffle as well. Now, let's listen to it going through the ARP. Okay, a little bit more glitch to it. Uncheck the shuffle if you want. brave enough go to two octaves and it's going to just scroll all around your notes in a bit of a crazy way so I wouldn't recommend using the octave very much if you want to reset it just stop it move the tie up put the tie back on play it again
can sync it up if you want to. And you can get some good sounds out of it too. It's just, it just takes a lot of experimentation. The other thing you can do is you can take the loop and you can trade to a different loop if you want. Um, if you do this, Okay, if you do trade loops out or you switch loops, you're gonna have to turn off the enable loop playback section again. So that's a little bit about how to play your. Uh, how to play your, your loops via an arpeggiator. Um, the other thing you can do is all of these parameters that I've been playing with, you can apply them to the knobs and the buttons on your combinator. Um, and I'm sure if you've watched my tutorials before, you've seen how to do that, so I'm not gonna go through that here. But um, you can apply the rate, the gate length, uh, the single note repeat, the shuffle, um, the pattern on or off, um, and the inserts if you want. And uh, in that way, you can create yourself some pretty complex patches. Um, also with the Octorex you can put in up to eight loops so you can switch between those loops as well. So there's a lot of flexibility here with this type of setup. And again, it does create very glitchy effects. So that's uh, what I'm showing you today. And come visit me on my blog at reason101.net. My name is Rob. I will make this patch, well I probably won't make this patch available, but I will have a full tutorial that goes through some of this and I uh, will be posting my video up on YouTube soon. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, come visit me anytime you can.